My name is Jean-Christophe Carrel, and I'm going to show you how to make use of the HiTune app to configure the TSLider actuators. Let's talk about the setup of actuators. As you know, actuators need to be adapted in their configuration to the control systems uh, in which they are fitted. To do this kind of configuration with traditional actuators, what you need to do is to get access to the actuator, bring along with you tools, allowing to open the cover or compartment of the actuator, and access a rack of dip switches or jumpers allowing one by one to make certain configuration choices in the actuator. One of the difficulties is to know which dip switch to turn. And for this, you need to bring along with you some installation instructions that will document you on which switch to turn in order to obtain the function that you want to apply to the actuator. You need then to fix back the compartment to be finished and obviously this configuration requires you to have the actuator connected to the power supply to be able to see the effect of your configuration. This way of doing is part of the past to free you from tools and installation instructions but also to give you access to over 200 setting parameters in a way that allows you to save 50% of the commissioning time IMI Hydronic Engineering has just introduced a new range of actuator called TA Slider. TA Slider got a micro USB connector to which you can connect the TA dongle. With the TA dongle, you will enable connecting your smartphone through the iTunes app that is available on Google Play and uh, Apple App Store. And as you can see on the screen, the app allows you to get access to all the parameters of the actuator. The first parameter I'm going to change is, for instance, the input signal. And this input signal is currently set to 0 to 10 volts, and I am going to reverse it in a very simple way. Getting back to the menu, I also get access to the possibility to change the stroke, I can choose the speed. I can set up the valve to which the actuator is connected, which allows me to then adjust the stroke through a flow value. And to an extended menu, I get access to calibration parameters, characteristics that can be adjusted, programming of binary input, programming of the relays, and a lot of other settings like some error settings. Speaking about error, you also get access to the last errors that the actuator has met and you get also the possibility to read some statistics of use of the actuator like the total motor usage time and the cumulative distance it has covered. One of the good features about having the TA dongle is that its battery is sized for powering up the slider 160 and TA slider 500, even though these actuators are not connected to the power supply. This means that by connecting the TA dongle to the actuator, you get an easy way to position it at a first position during commissioning time, for instance. If you want to measure the flow through the valve, you would need the valve to be fully opened. And the easy way to do that with the dongle is simply to press on this auto button here to switch to the manual mode as the red LED is indicating. I can see from the LED blinking there that the actuator is already in the fully down position. So I will request it to go up by pressing this up key. And by the simple press on this key, you can now see from the LED blinking that the actuator is progressing up. If I let it go throughout, it will stop when it's reaching the fully open position of the valve. The micro USB configuration that we have just seen working on the small range of actuators TA Slider 160 can be applied in just the same way on the bigger range of actuators TA Slider 750 and 1250. Just open up the compartment, 
take the TA dongle, plug it in the micro USB connector, and as we can observe on the app, the actuator gets recognized by the dongle and by the app. You are ready for the configuration. By introducing micro USB configuration in its new range of actuators, TA Slider, IMI Hydronic Engineering offers you unparalleled versatile adjustments of actuators in HVAC for the first time on the market.